Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, produce and engineer my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, I want to talk about why we choose to settle for relationships and opportunities and situationships that are not fully and truly in alignment with our authenticity, with our needs, with everything that we want in life. Like, why do we actually settle for things that don't even feel good, but that we kind of convince ourselves that they're the best thing for us or the best that we can get or what we deserve, you know, like there's so many narratives that we can play in our minds. And for myself, I've come to understand that this again, as with so many fucking things that I talk about on my YouTube and on my podcast, it always stems from childhood because that's the age where our beliefs are shaped and formed. And then we kind of unconsciously carry those into adulthood without really even being aware of them until you get to this kind of stage like you are and like I am where we actually want to change them because we realise that some of them are not fucking benefiting us whatsoever. And we want to change them to ones that actually support our needs and support our authenticity. So I've come to understand that whenever I'm settling, whenever I'm choosing something, even if it's a like an experience or an opportunity in my job life or anything like that, as well as relationships, it's usually because I'm trying to get a need met. And I feel like the only way to get that need met is to accept this thing. So with relationships, Whenever we settle for people that are not actually in alignment with us, I've done this a few times and I feel like I did it because I really wanted my need for connection to be met. Like as humans, we need connection. We're a connection-based kind of species. Like you can have all the money, all the fame, all the success. You could have so many material things and stuff, but if you had nobody to share it with, you probably wouldn't be very happy. Like it wouldn't be fulfilling because it's about connection. Like connection is where we get our fulfillment from. It's where we get our excitement and our joy from, you know, like it's a much deeper thing compared to just mundane day-to-day -day tasks, especially survival mode. And I'm sure there's so much um, science that can delve into that way deeper than I can about why we need connection. But like relationships and connecting with people is literally the key to life, which is what I say at the start of these videos, because it really is. It's the fundamental thing that we all need is connection. So we all have that need and we can't remove that need or stop that need or make it not exist because it's human nature. It's just the way things are. You know, we all want to be able to connect with other people in an authentic way. And sometimes when a connection is presented to us, like maybe somebody's interested in you or there's a possibility for some kind of relationship, we can tend to settle for somebody that's not actually in alignment with our truth because we want that need for connection to be met like we we really want connection and so we're willing to take whatever scraps are presented to us unfortunately and this can stem from childhood it can stem from so many different traumatic experiences and low self-esteem and stuff but like the main thing is because we really want that need to be met and I feel like it's kind of a risk to say no to people, like to say no to opportunities, to say no to all kinds of um, situations and relationships and people that are presenting themselves to you. Like we can, the ego mind can perceive it as a risk to say no to an opportunity of a relationship that's presented to us because it's like, well, what if I never meet anyone else again? What if I never find the right person? Like what if I spend forever searching? If I say no to this person, then what if nothing else comes to me ever again kind of thing so it can feel to the ego like a massive massive risk and lots of people don't want to take that risk they don't want to trust their intuition they don't want to like believe in the fact that so much more is there for them because that means letting go of a connection that's currently there and that can be a scary scary thing I know for myself I've stayed in relationships way longer than I should have because I was absolutely terrified of letting it go in case I regretted it in case that was the end, in case I didn't meet anybody else, in case I like suddenly realised that they were the perfect person and I've just let them go, even though I knew they weren't really in alignment because we weren't fully compatible. But you can still feel that fear 
And that panic of like, ah, if I let this person go, then will I ever meet the right person? And if I let this job opportunity go, will I ever find something else, you know? Like there's just so many ways that we can play this out in our lives. And I feel like the kind of key thing is to actually get to know yourself and to know your wants and needs and to value that and value yourself and value your authenticity over connecting with just anybody you know like it's a bit like that saying something about valuing your peace can't remember how it goes but if you're valuing your self-worth and your authenticity and the freedom of being able to be authentic with whoever it is that you have in your life if you value that then when people come into your life that don't allow that you're no longer going to choose them. You're not going to let them stay because you understand in yourself and have made the agreement with yourself that being able to be authentic is the most important thing, you know. So then you're able to actually let go of the people that aren't truly in alignment and aren't really what you need. But when you're not clear on yourself and when you're not valuing yourself to the highest kind of degree... And then obviously you're going to choose anyone and everything, you know, you're going to choose those people just out of fear and out of lack and out of like almost desperation. And I've definitely done that. So this is not a judgment, but just it kind of comes from a lack mentality, basically. And we settle for the bare minimum, sometimes even less than the fucking minimum, (laughs) because we just get so caught up in our fears and so caught up in self-doubt and um, a lack of self-worth that we end up taking whatever we can get because it's better than nothing kind of thing and so I'm now learning for myself how to actually value and appreciate who I am and what I want and what I need and understanding that that's not too much you're not asking for too much you know most of us are definitely not asking for too much especially when it comes to like our non-negotiables and stuff like that Mm -hmm. so really valuing yourself and who you are and what you bring to the table so that when people come to you and when opportunities come to you, you can actually discern what is in alignment with your authenticity and your integrity and then make the right decision for you because there's there's no right or wrong in this. It's the right decision for you. And then, yeah, I just feel like it's so much easier to cut people off and choose who should stay and who should go when you're actually walking your truth and you're aware of your truth, you know? So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below or WhatsApp me or DM me if you have any video suggestions and all links to everything about me, my music, my phone number, because I do send inspirational videos and pictures and quotes and all kinds of things. That's all in the description box below, as well as links to my crystal jewelry and everything else about me. And I will see you in the next video. Have the best week. Bye.